Hi guys, I have an easy one for you today. Uh, we're going to be working on how to apply finishes to floors. Um, basically the way I like to do it is just adding structure to the floors or um, also you can just change the material type. So we'll go ahead and start with a basic floor. Go to floor, architectural, hit your rectangle at the top over here. See the arrow? Bring it down, slide it over. Size doesn't matter. We're gonna keep it simple. Hit escape a couple times. Hit the check mark at the top. Now Revit automatically uh, defaults the floor to uh, floor generic 12 inch. Uh, th basically that's all one big mass uh, that's not filled. So if you use your section tool, hit SC on your keyboard. You can see here in section that it's just an empty hollow floor. Um, if you want to add materials to that, it's pretty easy. Just select the floor, hit edit type, go to the structure, and then hit edit. Structure, and then go to materials, select the button on the right, and then you'll get this thing that shows up letting you select materials. Um, that's one way of doing it. If you know structure doesn't really matter to you. However, if structure does matter to you, um, what you can do is you can insert uh, different materials so that you, you know that your previous structure was one foot. Let's say you want to keep the one foot, you're going to have to adjust uh, the previous structure thickness. Let's say it's going to be uh, 12 inches, or 11 inches, sorry, and that you want one foot or one inch of um, wood floor finish on top of that. You can click that by category, type in wood floor. You can use oak flooring. I'm just going to use this the first thing that shows up. Uh, this is what it's going to look like as a cut, as a surface pattern, and then the shading on top. Hit done. Hit OK. Also, uh, when you're adding materials, if you click preview, you can see a section view of it, which is also really helpful. Um, so that you'll see here, uh, core boundary, the above wrap and the below wrap. That'll help you uh, figure out if you're above, uh, like the above side or the below side. So this is technically ceiling and this is technically flooring. So that'll help you keep things in mind too. Go ahead and hit OK. Hit Apply. Hit OK. Now if you zoom in. And click Fine. You will see that you now have a one inch thick uh, uh, wood floor as well. As well as the actual 11 inches of structure. Now if you look at this to a 3D view, which is up here on your left, you'll see now that it has a surface pattern. And if you turn on your colors, you'll see that it also has a color to it. Um, that's pretty much all there is to it. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the area below. Thank you.